Beauters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and you guys know the drill. It's July and I have the dollar bead box and bag in front of me right here that I haven't opened up yet. We're going to open it up together. I will leave the link to this down below if you're interested in signing up to it. I'm not here to sell you a subscription or anything like that. These are my honest opinions. I just have a lot of fun unboxing these with you guys. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. I'm so excited to find out. It's always a fun surprise. So we have our bead bag on the top, which contains eight strands and then our box on the bottom. So this little add on right here is an extra $8. And it's got four strands of three millimeter and four strands of four millimeter fire polish inside. And we're going to take a closer look at these. All right. So here is a closer look at our list here in case you need to refer back to it. The first strand we're going to look at is the olive. We're going to take a look at the three millimeter strands first. So this is our olive, our olive green right here. Just the typical fire polish finish, beautiful basic color to add to the collection. Next up, we have our matte tangerine. This is like a marigold type of color, definitely more yellow than it is more orange to me. Very golden and sunny, and you can see it has that matte finish. It's not quite as shiny as the other one, so it does have the frosted look to it. And I love adding more mattes to my collection as well, so that's always nice. Next up, we have a beautiful light peridot. You can see it is very, very light green. It's got the classic fire polish shiny finish. Beautiful uniform facets on that strand. Our last three millimeter strand is called Matte Opaque Light Green AB, and it seems like they save these most beautiful ones for last. As you can see, as I'm turning the bead, it's got the AB finish on part of it, which gives it that beautiful metallic kind of rainbow look, which I love, and it is beautiful combined with the matte, what they're calling light green. It definitely looks kind of more light blue to me. It's kind of a sea foam green, but bluer. That's gorgeous. So those are our four three millimeter strands, and then we have four great four millimeter strands to look at. The first one is called Opaque Light Green, which again, definitely has a bluish look to it, but that's okay. It is gorgeous, as you can see. I'm moving it around. It has a bit of a milky look to it inside, if you look closely. I love that color. The next one is called Matte Medium Sapphire. So this is the typical sapphire blue color. It is a basic medium blue. Again, it's matte finish, so it does have the frosted effect, not quite as glossy and shiny. Next up, we have one called Light Aqua Half Copper. And isn't that beautiful? You see the metallic copper that is on half of the bead, and then half of it is the light aqua very, very light, and I'm just moving this around so you can see the effect of how the copper is just on one half of the bead. That's absolutely gorgeous when those metallics are combined in that way, I think. So I'm really excited about that one. And then our last four millimeter strand is beautiful as well. This one is just called teal, so it's another basic fire polish finish color, and I definitely gravitate toward these teals and aquas and things like that, so I'm really happy to have this. And as you can see, a lot of these colors would look beautiful together in a project. So it's always great to point out with the subscription that you can go back on their website and purchase more strands of these for just a dollar each. They do have a lot of other products on their website as well for just a dollar, so it's definitely worth checking out. With this particular subscription, you do have to be either a subscriber to their monthly subscription or you have to pay for a membership. So I do want to point that out, but it is a really nice perk to this particular subscription. So now that we have the dollar bead bag out of the way, let's take a look at the box. And they always send us a little note here on top. We'll just take a little peek here at that. It says, dear member, we've been busy planning our boxes for the summer and we hope you'll be as excited about them as we are. Our new items from overseas are continuing to come in and we love the new colors, shapes, and styles. A number of our new items were only available in limited quantities, so we weren't able to include them in the boxes. Be sure to watch our Facebook postings and member emails for notices about these additional listings. Everything will be available in our online shop. So that's great to know. And then on the back, as usual, we have our organized list of everything that is included. We have our strands up here at the top and then our additional items here at the bottom if you need to refer back to this. So I'm gonna take everything out. As you can see, it's just in this tissue paper right here. And we'll go ahead and go through everything one by one. All right, so I took everything out and I'm seeing a lot of things that are right up my alley. First one being the uh, strand here. This is a four millimeter 
strand of Czech glass Drux, and this is in the color Opaque Red Vega Luster, which I love anything luster pretty much. It's a subtle coating that they have on these beads. It's really pretty. It just takes a basic color and it makes it a little bit more special looking. It's more subtle than an AB, but it adds just the slightest little rainbow effect to it. So that's beautiful. There's 35 pieces on that strand. Our next strand is a strand of some of the tiniest little rondelles I've ever seen. These are one by two millimeter, and these are definitely the smallest rondelles that I own. These are in the color opaque turquoise. There's approximately 120 beads on the strand, so it is a nice long strand. I love how tiny these are. I think they would make great little spacer beads. You could also bead weave with them, of course, and they're nice and sparkly, as you can see when the light hits them. So that's cool. We were sent some rondelles last month as well. Next up, we have a strand of more Czech glass Drux. These are in the color Alexandrite, which is always this lavender color. It's very pretty, very, very light. There's 33 pieces on this strand, but again, a nice basic shape and color to add to the collection. The next two items are Czech glass pearls. So we have our four millimeter size in a basic white, another basic. They've been sending us more Czech glass pearls lately, so this is nice to have, of course, in a basic white. The quality seems very decent. They seem very uniform. And then we were sent the tiniest little strand of two millimeter pearls in the color mint tea. So they've been sending us a lot of this particular color in our boxes lately, this mint tea, which does have a beautiful luster on it. These are so small, put them next to the four millimeter which aren't that big either, and you can get an idea of the size difference there. Very pretty light aqua color. So that does it for our strands. Now we have about 14 little baggies over here of additional items to go through, and we got some really interesting and different things that I haven't seen come in their boxes before. The first one being some size eight check glass seed beads. These are aqua silver lined and there's five grams in there. I'm not going to take them out because they're pretty basic, but as you can see, they are pretty aqua color and then they have these silver lined holes inside. So that's something different and nice to get every once in a while. Seed beads are a great basic for a lot of beaters. The next item we have is a bag containing a 14 to 16 millimeter natural coin pearl. And this is in white. There's only one pearl in here. We do seem to get these coin pearls quite often. This does seem to be a little bit bigger than some that I've received in the past. But as you are a subscriber, you could kind of build up your collection of these little pearls, all different shapes and sizes of fresh water. So that's nice to have. It's always nice to have two, but like I said, part of this subscription is to point you guys to their website to see what you can go back and purchase for just a dollar each. So I definitely understand. The next bag contains an agate ammonite shape, and this is in pink. There's one piece, it's 23 to 25 millimeter. I love it. So this is a stone. You can see the natural look to it, the natural striations running through the stone. I'm sure they're all going to be just a little bit different. Here is a look at the back. It is a beautiful blush peachy pink color and even has a transparent little stripe running through it there which is cool. And you can get an idea of the ammonite or fossil like shape on that. That's gorgeous. The next two bags contain Chinese crystal. These are star cut crystals. We'll actually start with this one. This is the smaller size. It's called full coat silver so I'll take these out so you can get an idea of what these look like up close in my hand so they are very very reflective and metallic not a whole lot in the bag it's definitely a sample size selection but these are a shape that I don't have I think they're really really interesting you can see how they're cut there and why they are called the star shape and then the next bag contains some that are just a little bit bigger and these are in the color jet which is just a basic black And again, just in this tiny little sample amount, we have just six pieces here, and they're very, very dark being that they're black, but as I move them, you can see the reflection of where they are cut. So those are interesting. There's a look at the hole there running through the bead, and they are kind of pointed on either end. 
Next up, we have a bag containing some Swarovski crystal, and these are in the color Rose Water Opal. So those are beautiful. Let me take these out and take a closer look at this shape. It's called the Pendulum, and these are a seven by 10 millimeter, and they are one whole beads. You can see that they have the hole running through just the top there. I love that opalescent look, of course. They're just the lightest pink, and they are cut beautifully, of course. Swarovski is such great quality. Could make a really cute and simple pair of earrings right away receiving these two in the bag. Next up, we have some basic bead caps. There are just four pieces in here. I'm not gonna go ahead and take those out. I've received bead caps very similar to this before. These are in an antique brass plated color and you can see the very nice and simple little leaf design. So not really enough to do a necklace with these probably, but you could do a nice pair of earrings using these if you wanted to. And then of course you could purchase more on their website later if you wanted more. Next up, we have a pendant. This bag contains a 16 millimeter pendant. It's called Half Round Sterling Silver Plated. There's one piece in here, obviously. It is a very interesting shape. So looking at it closely, I see that you could actually glue rhinestones in here, and we have gotten some little rhinestones, Swarovski crystals, from the dollar bead box in the past, and I'm sure they still sell them on the website, but you could definitely pop those into those little spaces there. And then here is a look at the back. It is completely hollow, but it is a very sturdy pendant. I can't bend it with my fingers or anything like that. And I think the fact that you could customize what color crystals you put in there, that's a really unique piece. Next, we have some more Chet glass drucks, and I won't take these out either. These are in a color called crystal. As you can see, they are just crystal clear, and they are in a very small three millimeter size. So there's a hundred in there, another great basic to have. These will be very easy to incorporate in a project. Our next bag contains this, which is so cool looking. It is a Chinese writing stone. It's a focal bead. There's one piece in here, and this is in a 24 to 26 millimeter. Again, I'm sure these are all gonna be slightly different because it does feel like stone. It is a extremely dark green. It almost looks black, but I'm pretty sure that it is a very, very dark green. And then it's got some little ivory colored fragments in here, which is really interesting. There's a look at the hole there running up and down through this bead, and it would make a really interesting focal, that's for sure. Our next bag contains two beads, and these are 10 millimeter Chinese glass laser etched rounds with a star pattern. I think these are really unique and different. I like these a lot. These actually remind me of, for some reason, like rattan the way the the weave the pattern is it kind of looks like a weave which is interesting and if it didn't say glass i'd have to take a minute and try to figure out if these were actually glass or ceramic because they almost look a little bit ceramic and then they have like an electroplating type look to them as well as you can see from the edge and then the etching is a basic white so these are really different and they're pretty cool i'd love to see what other designs and etching is available on beads like this next we have a bag containing two very large fire polish beads these are actually 12 millimeter and they have a great finish on them these are called jet hematite with travertine so that's always interesting it makes them look very much stone like it's got the little faceting on them like the fire polish beads do they look metallic as well in a way but aged because of the travertine finish on them there are the nice clean holes on those and they are definitely a good size i love the fact again they included two of these and not just one our next bag contains some eight millimeter Czech glass hearts. I love these, these are really cute. They are matte black AB. So it looks like on one side we have the matte black and then on the other side we have the AB finish. So cool looking, they look like they're glowing. I love how the AB finish makes the matte beads look like they're glowing. That's really cool. So lots of blue and green coming through on this side and then you flip it over and it's just a basic black mat. Our final item really caught my eye and this is a bag containing an 18 millimeter check glass laser etched button and this is in the color matte red. Of course, we're gonna take this one out and get a closer look on that. That is absolutely beautiful. 
check it out when the light hits it it makes this pattern look a little bit like holographic in a way that is so neat it kind of shifts from gold to a bluish violet i love that that spiral pattern is so different and unique it's reminding me of a spiral staircase for some reason here is a look at the back and there's the hole there i like the fact that this isn't a very wide or deep button so it's not going to like stick out and wobble around too much when you go to use it these of course make great clasps especially for beaded bracelets and i really don't have much in the way of buttons so very happy to get this and the fact that it's all glass is really unique too it doesn't have any kind of metal components on it so this just being that it's so different and unique especially for the dollar bead box i haven't gotten anything like this i'm really excited about that button so there you have it guys that's everything for the july 2019 dollar bead box and bag i'm really excited about this month in particular there were a lot of things that spoke to me and that i'm really excited to work with of course the button i love this ammonite piece right here the writing stone these etched beads were interesting the pink crystal opals just a lot of things overall that spoke to me and then i did count up the number of items in this box and bag and we're at 27 so i think last month was 28 but it had been running around like 24 different items not that that specifically matters but this box along with last month it just seems like they've bulked it up just a little bit more which is always great and then of course getting the pairs of beads like that is so handy even though you can go back and order more of course which is a great perk it's just nice to be able to get something like that already in the box ready to go in case you wanted to make some earrings out of what you received without having to wait on another shipment so feel free to leave me a comment down below let me know what you thought of the box if you got this what are you excited to make out of it it's always fun to have the opportunity to share these unboxings with you guys so i really appreciate you being here hope you'll stay tuned with me for a lot more fun to come and of course when i use these beads that have come in the subscription i will absolutely share so hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day and as always happy beading if you enjoyed this video i'd love for you to give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos check out the information section under the video for links to my social media handles and other helpful info and feel free to check out my shop at orchidanopal.com thanks for watching